Uh, what about the name Cold Day? Eh? <laughs> 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 You're quick. You're really quick. No. And welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to the channel. As always, a project. Now we're going to uh, beginning this project. So uh, maybe some of you get a clue of what we can do <laughs> with a water heater. That's a water he heater that my uh, father-in-law had to change. So I changed it last uh, weekend. And now we're up with uh, one. It's not old, it's like uh, not even 15 years. We're going to dismantle it and uh, we're going to recover the uh, water tank, which we are going to cut in small pieces for the next project that you will soon discover what <laughs> Good. Yes. We can continue. Yes. Can I? Can I? <laughs> Lot of stuff there. <laughs> That's almost a shovel, full shovel of uh, minerals. And we have the seam here. I don't know if we're going to cut along the seam. You know, Dave? Are we no. going to cut along the seam or along the uh, connections? I go with the connection. Okay. I go with the connection, yeah. Perfect. Let's do that. Okay. You want to your, your flow? <laughs> okay, I'm going to change it up slightly by five. <laughs> That's why I take my cheapest tape. I kind of tape that you do that <laughs> and you don't mind really much. <laughs> <laughs> Have you, you ever done enough? <laughs> yes. Yeah, don't worry. It's a flexible tape. Yeah, that's uh, one advantage of having a very cheap tape is that you can take measure this way and you don't mind about uh, bending this. This one is a very uh, narrow, uh, uh, I don't know how you call this, it's uh, really narrow as opposed to the other. So this one you don't want to do that because it's really curved and it's water, it's thicker, you don't want to do that. Okay, on my channel, you don't see often this uh, reciprocating saw, saw <laughs> This is uh, the cheapest you can find over the world, even the universe. This is job made, job made, it's sold by Kenison Tire. Kenison Tire is like a, a what is the name in the US? Uh, the equivalent, there's an equivalent. Uh, yes, there's, um, my God, I forgot. We'll put that below in the screen. Okay, so it's a variable speed, which seems to be good. It's very powerful, but I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, you see, anyways, so Dave wants to use the Sazal to cut the uh, cylinder. So, he's going to try it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. 
Voila! That's the typical ending. Each and every time you say, oh wow, that's going well too. <laughs> Shoot! It's broken, bent, bent, burnt, all. <laughs> But you know what? I'm going to give you a second chance. Thanks! Thanks, you. <laughs> okay, we uh, cut uh, the, um, the tank. So Dave was about to use the uh, <laughs> no. reciprocating saw. He uh, make a good demonstration that it's not unuseful. It can be uh, sometimes uh, useful. That's not convincing. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so that's the uh, the the water heater is uh, 48 inches or 50 inches something ish, and we have to put one more extension of uh, maybe 15 inches to make the full 66 inches. We've cut also a piece of uh, angle iron and uh, square tubing, one and a quarter by one and a quarter. But we're going to weld from one side and the other side. But first, we have to join those two sections together. So what we came up with, uh, so maybe you can wonder why are you not putting that face down, is that because when cutting it, you know, when using a reciprocating saw, <laughs> it's not perfectly straight. And if you weld that flat, it seems to be straight, but at the end, uh, the, 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 the continuity at the back is not uh, perfect. So it might uh, get an angle. So what we do, what we want is the back of the blade to be perfectly straight. So that's why this is the back that is going against the table. And whatever happened with the edge here, we don't mind because it's going to be uh, welded. So we have to clamp this down and uh, clamp both uh, the uh, section together so that you can make a, a good weld here. So that's what we'll do. Seen that, so there's some kind of coating on it that is uh, insulating because I have my wire to go on it and it did not uh, want to weld. Anyways, we'll be able to do something. Yes. It's not like a speaker. Not at all. <laughs> I don't know if the snow will be able to be pushed with that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're ready to tack weld. So we put uh, the end of the board, maybe half of the uh, center of the tube, uh, and we're going to tack weld this. That would be the top of the plow, and will be the same with the uh, angle iron at the base.
Okay, we were about to uh, fix the flow on the table. We have the, this um, clamp that clamps on the uh, table as a back support of the blade so it doesn't tilt backwards. We have the angle iron sitting on the table being clamped so it doesn't move uh, our way. We've clamped both sides. We're going to make a few tack welds here and there and we are going to be able to move it because I want it to be very straight off. Maybe I just tack well like this, like pushing against this. So that's what we we'll do. Ready? Yes. Then after that we are going to have to put the, the quick attach system. 